Well, we have officially hit double the drop rate on the Dragon Warhammer. Today's video is going to be about being unlucky in old school RuneScape. I might also discuss if they were ever to change drop rates on the game, if it would be good or bad. Okay, so this is a website called Old School RuneScape Portal, and you can pretty much go and choose a Slayer creature or any type of creature really in the entire game. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Lizardman Shaman right here, and then put the number of kills. So I'm just going to say I've killed 10,000, oops, not 100,000, not yet. We've killed 10,000 Lizardman Shaman, and then if I click continue, it will give you the average of what you should receive in this time. And as you can see, the average right here is two Dragon Warhammers. I can go again and it will switch. There we go again, two Dragon Warhammers. I'll do it a few more times here. Another two Dragon Warhammers. All right, let's do this again. Two, let's see if we can get even luckier. Ooh, there we go, we got one this time. And this is pretty much about what I have received in the uh, <laughs> 10,000 kills, zero Warhammers. So it is obviously possible, but look at this. This guy in 10,000 kills, got four dragon war hammers like dude so look at this 100 we'll just click again and this will be the average click it one more time this is the downright average three dragon war hammers okay 150 million gp all right so off to the side here i have my loot tracker at 9132 kills the other thousand plus kills we did before and reset the tracker but as you can see, 60 million GP was generated in this many kills. We did not obviously get the Warhammer, but every other drop seems to be kind of accurate to where it was on the website there. Of course, we got the three freaking curved bones, 66 Xerix Talismans. And we don't know if we're any closer to getting the drop than from where we started. Now this is usually like not a problem at all if you play a regular main account, right? Because if you think about it, on a main account, I've already made 60 million GP killing the Lizardmen Shamans. The Warhammer is a, just a little bit over 30 million. So it realistically, we could have basically bought two Dragon Warhammers, right? Which it is a one and uh, 5,000 chance. So in 10,000, it's two and 10,000. So we would have basically, with the drops we got, would have been able to afford a Dragon Warhammer, right? So if you played a main account, Dragon Warhammer, no problem, unless you're going for a collection log. But as an Iron Man account, the Dragon Warhammer, I know a lot of people say it's not as important as you think, but realistically to do any like late game bossing or you know raids or anything like that it is very useful to have yourself the dragon warhammer and if you don't have it it just kind of really holds you back i i really want to go ahead and do things like raids and even like camp bandos and whatever it might be just any boss that comes out in the future and people are saying oh just use a bgs like i could learn the range method and actually get the bgs from bandos but i just feel like i want to have the you know the dragon warhammers that i can take it everywhere and i personally think the dragon warhammer is better than the bgs but it's just something that really holds your account back another thing was like for me anyways, getting the blowpipe, it took me 1500 KC to get the blowpipe on this Iron Man account. I had to use the rune crossbow the entire time. And then there's some Iron Man accounts that get it, you know, 100, 200 kills in, right? And it's just something you can never really predict and go for. And I guess that's kind of the fun in it, right? Because you never know, you could get really lucky. But then at the same time, it's like you could go extremely dry. And it just sucks when you go dry for something that really is essential for the account. People have talked about before making everything like sort of similar to how like four cats head you're guaranteed to get one at 50 kc people have talked about you know pets for example you're guaranteed to get it at that 5,000 kills if you don't get it beforehand you're guaranteed to get it at that 5,000 kills now personally do i think this should be into the game absolutely not i think going dry at a creature is kind of it's not fun let me tell you that but it it really just motivates you to play the game more especially when i was going back for the blowpipe in the day i would stay up late after work just killing the extra few zalra that i needed to to get the blowpipe now i am a little frustrated that i haven't gotten the dragon warhammer yet at 10,000 kills i know some people have went up to 40,000 kills dry and i really hope i do not go that dry but it is frustrating but i think it's just part of the game 
also when I was doing Hydra, it, the claws are 1 in 1000 chance and I've killed 2000 alchemical Hydras now and I still do not have the claw. Now Hydra is a little different because you can actually only kill alchemical Hydra on Slayer task so it makes it even more difficult and each Hydra kill takes you know th 2 to 3 minutes per kill and you can't just sit there and camp it so getting being dry there is even worse realistically than being dry at like say Lizardman Shamans where I can just go ahead and camp them all day every day and I've pretty much been camping them for about three weeks now which is pretty crazy three weeks at one creature and I've blown through about 200,000 Zalra skills probably about 30 40,000 amethyst darts I know I shouldn't be using amethyst darts here but yeah dude it's just been absolutely crazy and I, I actually can't believe that I'm going this dry here it's kind of triggering it's like every day I log in I'm like today's the day we're gonna get the hammer today and then a week later I'm like today's the day I think it would be really funny if while making this video just the Dragon War Hammer just spawns on the ground. <laughs> People have been asking me like, you know, when are you going to move on? I want more progression videos and stuff like that. But I just feel like I need this Dragon War Hammer to move on. And I promised you guys I would stay here until I get it. Now, if I actually run out of Zalra skills, looks like we're camping Zalra. Like, I will get the Dragon War Hammer in this account. Mark my words. Now, I know a lot of people like don't have the same mentality as I do and they will get burnt out of the game and maybe go play some Minecraft because they're bored of it or whatever, right? Now, is this a problem that something that Jagex maybe needs to look into in the future? I don't know and I it, they can't just change it for Iron Man, right? They, because that would be so unfair for main accounts and whatever. But there are like very essential items like the Dragon Warhammer, like, you know, there's, there's other ones like Blowpipe, for example, that you kind of just need almost to progress the account. And it just is very unfortunate that some people get in 100 kills and some people go 10,000 and still haven't gotten it, right? This is just kind of unrealistic at this point. If you think about how long I've been here at the uh, the Lizardmen, you, you, you're lucky to get 150 to 200 kills an hour here. 10,000, still no freaking hammer. Like, look at the range experience, man. 28 million range has been gained here it's actually my highest skill now which is actually really funny but it just it is what it is and it's gonna take so long i'm i'm ready to just camp a month at amethyst i'm ready to camp a month at zalra and stock up and come right back i've never really been a fan of rng drops i know it does make the game very interesting but i've always loved things where you can kind of see progression this is a really good example. So for the the Grazoi Rapier, you know how it's a rare drop from doing raids. Um, back in the day to get the Rapier, you needed to spend 200,000, I think it was, Dungeoneering tokens in order to get it, right? So you knew at the end you were guaranteed to get it when you got those 200,000 tokens, right? But with a raid, you're never guaranteed to get it. You could go extremely dry, right? Imagine going two, three, four times the drop rate at something like raids. That would really not be fun unless you, you just love the raids, right? But I'm by it wouldn't be fun. I mean, it could take you, you know, half of a year maybe to go for a certain item. I want to know down in the comments if you think this is okay, if it could take you literally half a year to go for a certain item that you want. Do you think, yep, that's the game style you chose to play? Or do you think maybe there should be a solution to this, right? I personally like the way it is, and I like being able to go extremely dry at certain creatures, right? But I also like the fact that you'll go extremely lucky at some creatures too, right? If they had like a drop rate, a set drop rate, where you were guaranteed at 5,000 kills you were to get this, right? And then the next 5,000 thousand kills you're guaranteed to get this right i don't know like there's some accounts that would go so lucky that they would get things before the drop rate right like i got the zalra pet before the drop rate i got the kraken pet before the drop rate i also got the smoke devil pet before the drop rate and it's just like i wouldn't have wanted to stay and kill five thousand of those creatures you know what i mean i always say to people if you're going dry somewhere I promise you will go lucky in other places. Just hopefully it's at better locations than the Lizardman Shaman. Hopefully you get, you know, you go dry at something like Zalra and you make a lot of money. Another thing crazy to go extremely dry at is something like Clue Scrolls, right? Because Clue Scrolls are another thing where you can only get 
certain amounts of them similar similar to hydra but i think clue scrolls are even worse because you really can never time exactly when you're gonna get gonna be getting a clue scroll especially on an iron man account right i mean main accounts can buy implings and whatever but iron man really can't predict when they're gonna be getting clue scrolls maybe ex exceptions would be something like skitizo you're guaranteed a hard clue but other than that man it's just like very random to get a clue in it if you, if you go on dry on something like that like ranger boots or whatever it might be that you're chasing from a clue scroll it could take you hundreds or even thousands of hours to complete something right and you might just have to go towards other goals while going for the initial goal a lot of people told me for the Lizardman Shaman grind to actually do it while doing Slayer. Now the problem with that is that I was doing Konar Slayer and you can't choose exactly where you're going to be doing your tasks. So I just wanted to grind it all out. But I do like the idea if, if, if you're going dry at somewhere, just do it when you're on task because you're going to be hitting higher when you're on task. It's not going to seem like a grind because, you know, two, three hundred kills in, you're going to have to switch up the activity that you're doing. But I do understand the people that just want to get it out of the way because I'm kind of one of those people too where I don't want to just leave an item on like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i get it later, you know what I mean? I just want to get it now and knock it out of the way. But doing the Slayer method where you do it on task can definitely help you with burnout. I want to know down in the comments, what is the driest you have ever been at a creature, a skilling pet, whatever it is in this game, what have you been the driest at? And, and I also definitely want to know down in the comments below if you think that drop rate should be changed. Now, personally, like I said, I don't want them to be changed, but I know there are some people in the community that have talked about this before, and I'd like to hear your guys' opinion on this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the entire video today. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, comment 10,000 dry down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.